Hi, everybody. I am Damali, the Glitter Priestess, and it is day seven of this 18-day challenge of going live every day for 18 days. And um, I'm happy that I've stuck with it for a whole week, even though there's already been lots and lots of challenges, <laughs> including, like, iffy internet service because i am uh where i am in guyana south america there is sometimes the internet's working sometimes it's not so some of the videos have been really blurry so i'm having um anyway um so my guilty pleasure is junk food fast food fried food um I love my, I have to make my herbal remedies. I love my salads, I love fresh fruits, but I also really love French fries. I also really love a good shrimp and chips. <laughs> and I also really love, um, at times, a good cupcake. I'm, I'm more towards the savory snacks or salty snacks than I am the sweets. Uh, but I, I also love my sweets. And before I was better in moderation before the lockdown started, I'm trying to talk slower because as I was watching another video, I was like, I'm talking so fast. I don't even know if, um, you know, people can hear, people can understand what I'm saying. But like in the past when I've gotten training about making videos, they would say like, you know, keep the pace up, talk fast. Um, some media training I had, but I don't remember where I learned that. But anyway, so I'm trying to slow down because I feel like I talk way too fast. But um, during the lockdown, I really just completely gave up on <laughs> and just like gave in to being completely unhealthy. And during that time, for the first time in like, probably for the first time, in like 30 years, I was able to find chocodiles, which was my favorite snack when I was a little kid. And that they were like Twinkies, they're not Twinkies. As the package would describe them as chocolate covered Twinkies, but they're, it's a different filling, it's a different thing. But they're the same shape and size as a Twinkie, and they're covered in chocolate, and they have a cream filling. And they're just so good, and there's nothing like them. Nothing. <laughs> so, like, during the lockdown, I was able to order them online but only by the case. So I had months and months and months worth. Um, and that was just only one of many things during the lockdown that I just allowed my, I said, you know, it felt like the world was in there. I was like, okay, this, so food was my comfort. And I do, I do tend to be an emotional eater as well. Like either um, I will completely lose my appetite, or my appetite will really, really increase based on emotional states at times. So, um, so during that time, it was like, just give me all the junk food, give me all the worst, to, you know, whatever. And uh, I don't think I've completely gotten out of that yet. Uh, so, but I, but I still don't think I feel guilty about it. I don't. So the term guilty pleasures. Even though, it, you know, I'm aware that it's not good for me, but I don't know that I'm kind of feel guilty about it necessarily. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. I've been working, well, you know, maybe procrastination is guilty pleasure. I've been working on a book about pleasure for about the past five years that I just haven't allowed myself to finish and put out there. And um, and during that time, another popular book about pleasure came out. And I was like, oh, Somebody else wrote a book about and also during that time, like there was the the whole pandemic started, and we went on lockdown, and I'm like, I don't, you know, how, can I think about pleasure and get this done? And because at the beginning of 2020, I was like, okay, that's it. This year, I'm getting it done. Because by then, I had already been working on it for a few years, and um, I enrolled. And I first got my sister was teaching about how to complete a book. Um, I think. Her course was like how to complete a book in 90 days or something. And by then I already like had a lot of it done. So I was like, okay, I'm getting it done 2020. That was the beginning of 2020. Then a couple months and it was like, mwah, mwah. and the lockdown started. 
So, but I do think like there is a part of me that does get some pleasure out of like procrastination and self sabotage, which also may go back to the unhealthy eating thing. Because I also often talk a lot about how black women have the highest rates of stress related illness in the United States, such as heart disease, diabetes, um, hypertension, slash high blood pressure. So, you know, I, it is also a self sabotage to be sitting here eating all these unhealthy foods, knowing that, you know, I, I'm in a high risk group as well. So, those are some things to think about. But anyway, I am, I'm happy that I'm sitting with this challenge. And I've gotten through the first week and um, still at it. So thank you so much for watching, for those watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.